The freshwater drum is a common fish of large rivers and lakes throughout much of North and Central America. It's a fish of many names, with the most common being sheephead, gaspergoo, grunter, and croaker. Several of these names describe its ability to vibrate muscles against its swim bladder, which creates a grunting or drumming sound. This fish is in the Cyanidae family related to more than 200 other species that primarily live in saltwater, including the red drum and the black drum. Interestingly, the saltwater fish known as the sheep's head is not in this family. Many anglers catch freshwater drum on accident when fishing for walleyes, perch, or smallmouth, but they're very hard fighters and are tons of fun to catch. Since drum prefer to eat snails, crayfish, mussels, and other invertebrates along the bottom, they're easily caught by working a worm or soft plastic crayfish along the bottom. They'll also readily strike crankbaits and other minnow imitating baits. A typical drum is about 12 to 18 inches long and weighs a few pounds. They're a blast to catch on light tackle with a jig and soft plastic. But make sure your drag is set correctly because they fight hard and a big drum will grab a small bait and leave your drag system screaming. A large drum can be over 30 inches and weigh more than 40 pounds. Drum are commonly found along current seams, steep drop-offs, or rocky reefs. My favorite way to catch them is to bounce a jig and plastic crayfish along the rocks in 5 to 15 feet of water. I have the best luck trying to replicate the natural swimming motion of a crayfish. Crayfish swim backwards with several flicks of their tail and then a fall, so I recommend trying to imitate that type of movement. Freshwater drum are one of the few fish in the Great Lakes region that readily eat the horribly invasive zebra mussels and quagga mussels that now colonize most of the Great Lakes and many inland lakes. These are the contents of a drum's stomach that I recently kept and filleted. It's entirely composed of quagga mussel shells and a small rusty crayfish. You might think it's hard for a fish to chew something like a zebra mussel or a snail, but the sheephead's throat is lined with special weapons called pharyngeal teeth. As the fish squeezes the sides of its throat together, the pharyngeal teeth can break open snails or mussels and crush the shells into smaller pieces before being swallowed. Another interesting body feature of the freshwater drum is the otoliths, or ear bones, in its head. These look like polished stones and are often called lucky stones in areas of the Midwestern U.S. The otoliths are located in cavities just behind the eyes. Lucky stones are often found washed up on beaches along the Great Lakes, and most of them are even marked with the letter L for lucky stone, obviously. These fish are often abundant, but they're underappreciated. They're a beautiful native species, they eat many nasty invasive species, they fight hard, they get to a large size, and they taste great. When you keep a drum to eat, you want to keep a 12 to 18 inch fish, quickly bleed it out, and get it on ice. Towing a drum around on a stringer for hours or letting it float in a live well all day will result in mushy fillets. A drum fillet that's quickly put on ice will be white, flaky, and slightly firm, and it cooks well on the grill or fried in oil. Good luck drum fishing and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.